My name is James George. And on Twitter, I'm Obvious Jim. Yeah, don't get it wrong. OK. Um, so what I've been working on is continuing work that I've been doing with combining uh, DSLR footage with the Kinect using um, a, a rig that we built so that you can actually map the hide quality image from the SLR onto the depth image from the uh, Kinect. And this is portable and recreatable so that you can take it on the go. So I'll show you where the software's at tonight and kind of what the process is behind that. Um, so let me run it. So the process, because we're doing uh, SLR recorded footage, it's more of a post-production process in mind. Um, let's turn the camera back on. <laughs> So there's sort of two stages. One is a live preview to see that you're doing it right, and the second one is a post-production way of looking at the footage. So this is the live preview. So it's hard to see here, but uh, on, the top, on the top right, I have my uh, SLR footage, which is a lot higher quality than obviously the top left, which is what the Kinex RGB sees. So you can see why this is useful um, if you want to get um, nice looking images on your point clouds. So the, the way that this works is I'll hold a checkerboard up to the images and I'm running a, uh, an algorithm here that can show, that shows the, the same checkerboard from the two different cameras and we have methods of like mapping from one to the other using projection um, so that you can actually uh, make cal calibrate for the difference between those two images. So I'm gonna run this really quick without the microphone. So I have to take multiple samples so that the algorithm can determine the intrinsics and extrinsics of the lens. Cool. So this was a really rough calibration because I was doing it shakily with my hand, so the calibration isn't perfect, but it's better than it would be. If I hold up this, you can see that the checkboard, checkerboard roughly fits within uh, the image, obviously roughly. Um, it requires more points and uh, more delicate setup for, to make a good calibration. But the thing is, is once you have this calibrated, you can, take the, uh, you can take the rig on the go and then take footage with it without having to recalibrate it because of the way that it's fabricated. Um, so you can calibrate at where you have a controlled environment and then take the rig into an uncontrolled environment to take footage. So as part of uh, what we were doing is we took interviews using this yesterday with all of the labbers and uh, recorded both the depth data and the connect footage data and we'll be mapping them together and publishing, publishing these interviews online um, as a unique interview format. And so, um, which, so we're building the post-production process to work with this uh, tool. And as part of that, we've, I have a few demo frames. Where you can see, this is Elliot uh, shaking his head during his interview. Um, so you can see uh, that the alignment isn't quite perfect and that um, one of the challenges we're dealing with is uh, the frames moving, is having to match up the frames between the two data, the two pieces of data. But already you can see that uh, um, with an image like this, there's a much higher fidelity in the color data that's being put onto this um, image. So yeah, that was uh, what I worked on this week. 